reports of opera music being played in the Kingston district, sir. The killer's calling card. It could be the break we need. Alfred, we can add a third victim to the list. This is becoming rather ghastly, sir. It brings to mind a spate of murders at the beginning of your career. It was Halloween then, if I'm not mistaken. Turned out to be rather a long one, if I recall. I'm going to try and identify the body. An irregularity on the victim's chest. It appears to be a birthmark, quite distinctive. There's a bullet lodged deep in the upper bicep. This type of ammunition is predominantly used with a hunting rifle that hasn't been manufactured in over a decade. The left foot is missing several toes. The site of amputation suggests the removal of non-viable tissue in the treatment of frostbite. Alfred, I've ID'd the victim as Robert Kincaid. He was a microbiologist who worked for Stag Enterprises. Many believe the shooting was connected to Kincaid's knowledge of controversial research, although that remains unverified. He took a teaching post in Atlanta, which is where he was reported missing. That's three victims, all of them abducted in various places around the country. Keep looking for a connection, Alfred. Right you are, sir. The writing by the bodies suggests the killer has a higher purpose. It's as if these weren't good enough for what he has in mind. Do you think there are other victims? Yes, and I don't know what he has planned for them.